Alright, it's Alma here. I am back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a landing page using ConvertKit. So this is a landing page that I'm going to show you to create in this video. And in this landing page, it's going to ask for an email address in exchange for the ebook that you're going to send to the subscriber. Giving away something for free is one of the best ways to grow your email list and that is what this landing page is for. If you don't already have a ConvertKit account, you can use the link right below this video to get a free ConvertKit account so that you can start growing your email list. Alright, so let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so when you first open up ConvertKit, what you want to do is you want to go all the way up here to where it says grow and click on the drop down. And then you want to go to where it says landing pages and forms and click on that. All right. And now you have two options. You can either choose a form or a landing page. We're going to choose a landing page. And so click on the landing page option. So once you, you do that, you're going to be taken to this area that has different templates that you can choose for your landing page. And since we're going to do an ebook, you can actually go and find a bunch of different ebook templates in ConvertKit by going down to the bottom, click on, clicking on ebook, and you're going to see now there's a bunch of different templates that you can use to create your ebook. Okay. So I'm going to use this one. It's called Pierce, and I'm going to click on it and click on choose. All right. So now we are here, and I want to show you the thing, different things you can do with this. So it's going to give you this template. So you can actually click on this image and change it and you can change the background and the text. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stock photo out and replace it with an image of myself. So what you're going to do is go over here to the right hand side and you're going to go down to where it says uh, page background. And so if you click here and you decide to let's say you don't want the background to look like this, you can come here and replace the background. In this example, I'm going to keep the background because I actually like it. I'm just going to change the photo. So I'm going to go to that. All right. So we're going to click on the photo. Once you click on the photo, you're going to see a place to edit it or you can replace it. In this situation, since I'm replacing the photo, I'm going to click on replace. And now it's going to give me an option to upload an image. Okay. So when you have like images that you've used in the past, you'll have like a little library of images. The other thing I really like about ConvertKit, they give you access to um, Unsplash, which is you get free images to use for your landing pages here. So if you click on Unsplash, they're going to give you a bunch of different things. Like they'll give you a bunch of different pieces of um, clips of uh, stock photos. So you'll be able to take these and use them if you want to. And it's free. Okay. In this case, I'm not going to use the stock photos. I'm going to just use my own. So I'll go back to image and I'm going to go ahead down here. I previously had uploaded this, but if you want to upload it, you click on the files that you want to upload for your images and it'll add it to this library. So I'm going to choose this photo. Let me just double check. Yeah. I'll choose this one. All right. So it's got to put it right here. And that's the image of me. I actually like the fact that this little jacket pink kind of goes with the purple a little bit. So I'm going to keep it there. All right. Now this is like this. Uh, if you look here, there's like this logo thing. I'm going to delete that because that's like somebody else's logo. So I'm just going to click on delete. When we publish this, it's this little thing right here is going to go away. So you won't be able to see that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to rename this. This is a uh, text that you can go and edit. So I'm going to just call this, um, Grow your business on Instagram. That's my ebook, for example. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to come here and change this business. And we're just going to say on, on Instagram. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these here and delete that. Okay, grow your business on Instagram. And I'm going to tell you can also come down here and you can edit this to give more detail about what people are going to get access to. So I'm going to say sign up for this free ebook to learn how to grow on Instagram. Okay. All right. So that's my text for the landing page. Now ConvertKit already gives you like an email address here. So as soon as someone fills, puts in the information, it's going to go straight into your ConvertKit account, which is amazing. 
But if you want to add the first name, I like to add the first name and email address because when you send an email in ConvertKit, when you personalize that, um, that email to that person, their first name will show up. So, so you're going to go down here, click on the plus sign. And now on this right hand side, what you want to do is go down to where it says custom field, click on the drop down, go to first name. And that is for the first name field. So what I like to do is drag this little um, field up to the top because I want people to put their first name first and then put in their email address. All right, now you can also customize this if you wanna make the font, you know, the outline border, different colors, you can. I'm just gonna leave it alone. So if you go down here, this is the button. I'm gonna say, you can always uh, change the, the button, but I'll, I'll put down, I'm gonna write down download so that they know they're gonna download it, okay? So we'll put download, but you can put anything you want here. All right, now one thing I wanna tell you is ConvertKit will automatically put the branding here. So if you don't wanna have the logo of ConvertKit, you can get rid of it by clicking on that and then go here and uncheck this mark. It'll delete this so you won't, so when you publish it, people won't see it. All right, so we're gonna scroll up here and we're, we're gonna click on save. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to where it says settings right here. Click on settings. So there are a few options here. If you want someone to opt into your email list and then you wanna automatically send them the ebook, you come here, you're gonna go down to where it says incentive and click on that. And this is called, uh, this is a checkbox for sending an incentive email. So basically, as soon as someone opts in, they will automatically get an email to download it. Now you have to change some things here in the settings in order to automatically deliver the ebook to the person who subscribes, okay? So you're gonna come down to where it says download. I typically will do this, I'll just click on download and then it'll, it, acts, well, it will ask you to choose a file and so you're gonna choose the ebook. So as soon as you click on choose a file, it's gonna bring up your, you know, your, um, your own desktop drive and so you can go ahead and, uh, or your computer uh, drive and you can just select the ebook. Okay, once you upload that, now the next thing you wanna do, so once you do that, you're gonna, so automatically when you upload this file, you'll be able to send it to people. What you wanna do is edit the email that people are gonna receive because they're going to receive an email automatically from ConvertKit. So you wanna to go to edit email contents and it's gonna give you the from email and so the subject line, you can edit that. So what I typically will say is, um, you know, download your ebook. Or you could put the name of the ebook as well. I would say you can say down your ebook, download your ebook, uh, Instagram guide. Okay, I'm um, just that's the name of my ebook in this example. Now you're gonna come here and say you know give a little message about the download. So you can edit the welcome message that has the download, and so you can say something like click on the link below to, and this has something already here. I'm gonna delete that and change it. Click on the link below to down download your ebook okay and then you can come here and you can change the text i'll just say download here if they know that this is a button to download you can also change the color if you want to change it so you can put it whatever color you want i'm just choosing various examples i like this color so we'll keep that and then i'll say you can also have a message here download the ebook and you can say something like hey check out my instagram account or follow me on Facebook or TikTok or Twitter or wherever you want them to follow you. Follow me on YouTube, right? You can give them a little like set of instructions on how they can keep in touch with you here as well. All right, but I'm gonna just say, you know, nice seeing you. <laughs> I'll just put my little, um, I always say this in my emails. I'll just say best, I'm a Bradford, okay? So now we're ready to go. You're gonna click on save and then you're gonna click on save here, okay? So now you're pretty much done. And so all you have to do is Go to this button where it says publish. You click on publish and it'll, it's going to generate a URL. You click on that, copy and paste, and then you can look at your final product. All right, so now we have published our ebook opt-in landing page. And so this is it, all right? So now they'll come in here, they'll put in their information and they could click on that to download it. And there you go, you have a very simple, easy, download landing page where you can use it to grow your email list.